Hey guys, what's good? Thanks for tuning into the channel. Before we get into the video, I want to share with you guys something that has really made me smile. Those of you guys who know me, you guys know that I love my essential oils. I'm very mindful about what I put on the biggest organ on this body, which is my skin. We know your skin takes up what you put on it, right? Dosia, and I know you heard of it. It's all over the place, sis. Yes, they sent me this floral grapefruit, cruelty free fragrance that smells absolutely incredible and I'm definitely feeling it you know how some fragrances you put on and it kind of wears off during the day and you gotta spray a little bit more this lasts literally all day long 99.9% .9 of the time I'm wearing lemongrass essential oil I'm wearing pink grapefruit or grapefruit essential oil I'm wearing patchouli essential oil I got a dab of tea tree oil, essential oil, right now in my locks. When I can get a good scent that is cruelty free, not only did they send me the floral grapefruit, they also sent me a gourmet orange blossom fragrance. And so I'm going to be having these for quite some time. And I'm excited about it. I smell incredible. I wish we had smell a vision so you could smell your girl. I'm going to put all the information down in my description area. Listen, they got a sale going on right now. Go get you some. Listen, you're going to thank me later. I promise. Hey guys, let's talk about lock moisture. So this is my simple lock moisture routine. I am uh, moisturizing my locks three times a week. And moisture is definitely critical, especially if you're just starting out on your lock journey. It's imperative to avoid brittle, dry, thirsty locks. We don't want our locks out here being thirsty. Um, this has been my routine since I started my lock journey. And as you can see, I have a glowing, healthy head of locks. Very moisturized. Rose water is conditioning. It is moisturizing and hydrating. Giving more softness and luster to your locks rich in vitamins A, C, D, E, and B3. You can use this practically all over, healing and hydrating the skin. I use it as a moisturizer before applying my makeup as well as a finishing spray. And my skin, just like my locks, love it. So after my spritzes, I take a quarter size of the oil of my choice and seal in that moisture. And that's it, folks. Simple. And to the point, I use rose water. I make my own rose water with my own roses. Um, and I use that rose water and vitamin E oil and keep my locks moisturized that way. Also, you wanna also remember to make sure you are wrapping these babies up. That also helps to keep moisture locked in. You wanna keep your locks wrapped up at night or if you're just hanging around the house, um, you know, let's keep it moisturized. Let's keep it uh, growing. Let's keep them healthy. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. Love to hear your thoughts. How are you moisturizing your locks and your natural treasures?